Hey guys and gals, let's waste some time building some poly bags. <laughs> and this is just going to be more of just finishing up some projects here. And these are all duplicates that I have. And this is the Dripstone Caves. I've already done a review on this. And yeah, it's pretty much what it is by Lego, Lego Minecraft, and I got the hiccups. And it just so happens I have another one that's been open, and this is what I call the Spoiled Brat Special. And we'll get to that in a bit. And then we have the Volvo Wheel Loader by Lego Technic. And these are all duplicate sets that I've had before, and that's basically what these are. Well, let's start with the with the Spoil Brat Special. Put these over here, and we're going to start with this one here. And I was told that the kid who got this wasn't really grateful. So I'm hoping all the parts are in here. He just didn't want the set. So I wonder how much of this is, is missing. All right, and that's what I don't get, you know. When I was a kid, yes, I wanted the big, large Lego sets, but now as an adult, I really could care less. Maybe if I stand up, maybe the hiccups will go away. So right now, we're going to start putting this together, and it's actually in the fifth... 50s today. Shouldn't eat all those potato chips. <laughs> uh, okay. All right, we've got to put the Technic nail in here. You gotta like my style. I don't sensor or filter or speed bill, which I did get a comment uh, from, a, I believe a gentleman said that he can't really find anybody else who does this. And I don't find that hard to believe because most people are only interested in the speed builds anyways. Yeah, but this set here came from a co-worker of mine, she thought her little boy would like it. He ends up throwing a fit because he didn't want it. So she took it away. She says, I know, I know somebody who would be appreciative of it. And I don't know. I wish my kids could, I mean kids, I wish my parents would have bought me Lego like that when I was a kid. Okay. Alrighty. Well, that doesn't fit. Did I do something wrong? Oh, I've got to put a gray brick in there. I know there's going to be some. It says, why don't you drink water and stuff? I've already done that. I can't drink any more water. It can only take so much water. But yeah, some some kids are just very uh, unappreciative over it. I'd be surprised if everything everything's here. And these are just good little time waster projects. I've been finishing up that bat batch of reviews that I got in December, and I'm still work I'm still working on them. And it's in the middle of January. Today is I think the ninth. Getting close to the middle part of January, and I'm still working on reviews. I finally just just got done filming a tutorial. Six weeks later, I'm filming tutorials again, and I'm still doing reviews on set offers. <laughs> and you know that kind of thing.
Well, I notice this piece here is kind of mangled up. Let me pull that out of there and see here. Yeah. That looks like uh, somebody had stepped on that or something. Are they all like that? Now, this is used, so I don't really care. That one's not that bad. This one's kind of horrible. That'll uh, throw that down on, down there over there. Hey, it was given to me. I'm very grateful. I don't care what condition it's in. And that's what cracks me up about some of the younger generation today, I gotta have the biggest and best Lego sets in the whole wide world. Yeah, why don't you just take these little poly bags? I prefer them a lot better. Oh, you can have those. I want the big sets. Well, and I just thought when she told me the story about how her kid threw a fit over this, I thought, man, I would have. I would have gave that kid a stern talking to. And Gave him a butt beating for that. Throwing toys around the house. I would have never done that when I was a kid. It shows that you can launch it. But, you know, that's how it is. If I'd have done that with my parents, they would have... They would have... They would have, gave, they would have really given it to me. Okay, we got an... I think those things are called an ocelot. We got a pickaxe. Let's see. So far, it looks like almost everything is here. I think everything is with this set, except for that mangled up stud. Probably got mad and threw it somewhere. You know how kids are. In fact, I just took a picture of the thumbnail of the bags. We got Steve done. Yeah, but some of these kids today are just getting to be ungrateful. I'm thinking, be careful, kiddies, because your parents will take your leg away and they'll send it to an AFOL like me to put in my collection. So for that mangled up stud, this is pretty much what we have remaining, and I could use those parts, put those in there. And that's essentially what that is. It looks like everything was here with this, so maybe my coworker found all the parts. Okay, we'll slide that off to the side, because we have another one of these, but this one is sealed. This was given to me by my mom for Christmas. She doesn't know what sets I have, and well, we don't need to worry about that now, do we? <laughs> Put that over there. I'll do the same thing again. And it's like I said, though, I'm very thankful for getting stuff like this. I don't care, you know. I mean, it's Lego, right? I don't. Ha it doesn't have to be a big old set. in there that's why I couldn't find it <laughs> yeah uh, Lego is expensive I still got to answer some messages on that I've been getting more comments or people direct messaging me asking me where do I find Lego cheap I'm gonna be honest and I'll just answer it right here join a lug which stands for a recognized Lego user group and they will help you out just join a few meetings and then they will uh, uh, put you on their list and they'll uh, you know you can make an you can place an order with them and get parts it's called lug bulk and it's only good if you're doing like conventions or if you're a hobbyist and you need to buy bulk bricks 
Now, for me being as an individual guy, it's really kind of useless because there's a minimum you have to spend, and it's a little out of my price range. <laughs> so I don't, I don't use it. Oh, I mean, this doesn't go on there. My bad. I don't like doing this because it kind of the tiles never line up all the way. I really don't care because this is going to be parted out. Just thought it'd make a great little time waster video. All right. These little sets just get you started. They're not really meant for you to build a whole entire uh, Minecraft biome by any means, but it's enough to kind of spark some ideas and interest into it. Yeah, but I've been reading more of the comments. There's not a lot of channels that do this at normal speed. I, I, I find that just odd until I looked it up on YouTube. I'm like, yeah, you know why? Most people can't, Most people don't have the patience to do and sit here and just talk and repeat themselves a billion times on this type of stuff. Basically what this is, is you press this in here, and this thing's supposed to come flying out. But you know what? We're not going to do that here. You know how many Steve minifigures I got? Too many. <laughs> Uh, hey, you know what? I'll at least take another one. I may need them one day for something. Maybe a, a an attack of the Steves. They got creepers. For some reason, these things are always around when you don't want them to be. I'm just kind of all over the place right now. I don't have a lot of these, so there we go. And... Yeah. Well, let me get that out on the floor. I am still trying to go through a bunch of sets. Like, everything's filmed. I'm just trying to get the reviews edited. And I'm only doing reviews uh, Thursday through Mondays. Tuesdays and Wednesdays, I'm not doing anything. <laughs> no reviews. I'll do mocks and tutorials and stuff like this, but I'm not going to... I just don't want to look at an editor since I have since Christmas time with all the Christmas sets that Lego sent me for review. I have been swamped. I need to slow down on the review stuff, and that's it. Not too bad. I can always use those. And yeah, it's not too bad with that one. You know, you can go like this and pretend you're mining that and all that stuff. So I don't know why that kid was kind of throwing a fit over that, but, you know, some kids want the big set, so to me that one's just fine. All right, now we're going to do the Volvo wheel loader, and I already have this one, but we're going to put this one together here. Nice time waster. This one's got 69 bricks. Okay. And make sure I got everything out of there. Uh. Oh, this one had stickers. Well, you know what? Guess what? I ain't, this is not a review offer. This is because this is not provided by Lego. This was gifts and stuff. So I won't have to put those on, right? I well, we can just skip that. <laughs> no, we're not putting stickers on. When it's my own stuff or given to me as a gift, I do not put stickers on any of it. Yeah, not too bad. It's just a sheet of paper, but you know what? Let's do it. Now, I hate Technic sets, but you know what? Still grateful to get them. At least my... This one, I, think, I know my mom gave me this one, so I'm really thankful for that. Well, I forgot one thing. Minecraft's turned on that may offend some people in the LEGO community. I've been, I've been smelting a cobble and smooth sandstone so I can build some more houses on my tree. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, 
Yeah, I'm like I said, I'm not a Technic fan whatsoever. They're pretty cool. Just can't get into the theme. I know there was some on the Ambassador that were looking for pure Technic, nothing like this. And you know, there was always some discussion. Well, they really do uh, kind of skip through a bunch of steps here. There's always been some discussion. Um, you know, why doesn't uh, people get into more Technic and stuff? It's For me, it's just hard for me to figure out. It's very interesting, but it's also... I'm not a mechanically inclined person, <laughs> so... Well, that comes in green. Alrighty. Goes in right here. I'm just tacking that in. Okay. I could have done these in separate videos, but you know what? That's, uh, you know, I already did this one. I think it's on the main, or it could be on this channel here. I don't know. Technic half beams are always cool. This is more like a spring summer set. Well, right now in the desert out where I'm at, it's in the 50s, but it may as well just be spring. I can already hear the crows coming out. And it looks like this goes right there. Now, if I make mistakes, then so be it. <laughs> You know, um, like they want a sticker on that. No. We'll pretend that it's decorated. There we go. Yeah, because it wants two stickers right here. And... Now, this is just for my own personal use. This is my own personal collection, so I don't have to uh, put stickers on it here. Making sure I have enough pins in there. Haven't really found anything to do yet for work starts. I kind of went to the mountains for a bit, went for a hike, and you know how much I really missed that, and I thought, oh man, just, it's cold, the pieces are flying out of my hand, but it's cold, damp, um, but I'll tell you, nobody wanted to go, so I went by myself, kind of risky, but I thought, to get away from everything, that was fine by me. <laughs> Took the phone. I was going to go live, and the signal wasn't really that good up there. And I thought, well, I, I want to just kind of cleanse my mind. I didn't want to mess with it. And I got away with that. So, yeah, that's, that's the thing. had a nasty allergy attack a day or two ago and finally cleared that up. I mean it was a nasty one and I took some allergy pills. Never taken that brand again. It made me so drowsy. Okay, well we got that there. I mean, I've literally, I took them within 30 minutes. My face felt like it got smashed in by a shovel. I thought, oh man, I need to go lay down. So I did. Slept for about nine hours. Got up for about 30 minutes or so and slept for another four or five hours that day. And I mean, it felt good but to sleep, but I thought, oh man, I did not want to do that. I threw away a whole day. Uh, 
Now this is kind of confusing here. Nothing bad about Technic. I'm kind of, kind of getting, <laughs> kind of getting lost here and how this is supposed to go. You notice I'm working very slow. <laughs> I, mean, I can build big models. I think I can survive this. Yeah, but it was nice to get away from everything for a day. Now I gotta take the car in to get it inspected. I wonder how much that's gonna cost me. <laughs> All right, let's see here. Uh, oh, it goes right here. Yeah, I breeze through other sets when it comes to Technic. Yeah, look out. I went hiking though, I thought, I was like, man, I wish my dad could come and enjoy this stuff. Okay. We come back here, and I got this highlighted here. Yeah, the first two Minecraft sets were pretty easy. Now we're in here, and it's kind of, it's like, I'm. Um, Lily just in slow motion now. Looks like it goes right there. There we go. Not sure what that is. It's like a forklift. Well, we made it on either side of the of the thing. Oh, we got the gray hand from the void. Yeah, it looks like it goes like this right here. Holding it like that. This is just sitting on there. And Jay, be like the spoiled kid and not do the do the technic sets. <laughs> Hold on, I'm kind of confused here. Okay, this is actually supposed to go through the middle here. Make sure the gear goes right in the middle. Yes, I'm very quiet when it comes to these. I gotta think. I mean, this Technic stuff is hard. When you do cityscape, city suburb stuff, this, this can be a bit of a chore to do. Well, if you're gonna part these out and you got duplicates, why do you build them? Just as a time waster, that's what I'm doing here. those right here okay. 
me come over here. You know, Technic is pretty robust. It depends on how you build it. Sometimes the parts just don't want to go in. Patience with me and Technic don't get along very well. <laughs> All right, so after you get done with that, you're supposed to put the bucket in, but I locked that in first, but this goes here. I think this is meant to uh, raise that up and lower it. And here we put that together. You know what I forgot to do? I'm lining it up with the pitcher so I know exactly how it goes together. Okay, just about got it here. Of course, the non-fancy ram side goes in the outside. You know what I forgot to do? Put this little ladder in here, too. Like I said, I've already did reviews on the. I'm not going to review them again. Yeah, so the moral of the story is, folks, especially for the guys and gals out there, just be thankful your parents are still around to get you Lego sets. <laughs> yes, I would love to have large sets, but you know what? Sometimes doing these little uh, smaller sets are more entertaining than the big ones. All right. And that's it. And that's what we have remaining right here, if I can grab everything. And that concludes the build of the, what is this, the wheel loader. And for the most part, if I can fold this thing up, it's like a road map. <laughs> and we can toss that over there. The reason why I wanted to build these as well, because I'm trying to clean off my uh, counter over here. And they're in my way. So, at least that's that is so you just raise this up and stuff like that and it's a nice little build you could put this in a city you know obviously it's not scaled for figures but there you go and yeah that's pretty much what we did today we get a couple of these and they're not bad builds good little time waster projects and I don't know when I'm going to have this published. Right now I'm trying to get everything else going here. And there's one more poly bag that I'm going to save for a separate video. Because this one I do not have a duplicate of. And this is called the Panda Bear. My mom gave this to me last Christmas. And this, is, this one I don't even have. Well, we already know... Uh, this is from from Kohl's at four ninety nine. Yeah, it's a little too pricey for this, but hey. And yeah, we'll save that for another build. And that's set number three zero six four one. But essentially, today I wanted to get these three sets off my uh, counter. I'm trying to clean house. It's spring's just about on the corner, and I want to start cleaning things out of here. And yeah, that's, that's a good way place to start is these sets. But tell me what you think of these builds. I mean, they're good little time wasters. I mean, great little gifts or something like that. But for me personally, they're just a nice little way to top off a, a Lego collection.